They need to work quickly. Their position just a few kilometers from enemy lines is exposed and in the line of fire. The drone pilot, who's known by his call sign Playboy, is scouting out where best to attack. Uh, here is Russians. Here is he going to the trench. You see? Yep. Oh, you can see him moving here. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the screen, he can oh, see blocky images of Russian soldiers. Marking the coordinates, this position is now a target. Oh, you can see the Russians over here. I think coming. But they are taking huge risks. Whilst they can see the enemy, the Russians also have drones. Get down. And they can be easily spotted. This is dangerous work, but without this eye in the sky, Ukraine's artillery crews would be firing blind. Further back from the front line, troops from the unit, a volunteer platoon called Carlson, which includes foreign soldiers, load up with ammunition. It's going good. Um, we're pushing them back and they're falling back. Unfortunately, they're destroying everything as they go. With winter on its way, the fight for Kherson has become more desperate. Ukraine eager to take advantage of its momentum and Russia's retreat. The war here on the southern front is being fought across wide open fields. It is an artillery battle and it is absolutely deadly. Now, this team has just been given the coordinates by the drone reconnaissance unit and they're heading now to fire rockets at Russian positions. The launch position has been primed and it doesn't take long to line up the target. There is no time to hang around. The firing needs to be done at speed. Images captured by drone show the impact. It's these kind of barrages that are forcing the Russians to withdraw. But even before the smoke clears, the Ukrainian artillery team are making their escape. They're vulnerable now to a rapid counter-strike. This fight is a clash of nerve and firepower. And for the moment, on this perilous frontier, Ukraine is winning. Alex Rossi, Sky News, in Kherson region.